Hello, Jamie from Inky and Scrappy, sharing with you today my Get Creeping on Halloween for October of 2023, Tractor or Treat, Barnyard Costumes. So to start this one, I had stamped out the critters from Hey There. <laughs> I wanted to say Hey Rides, but I do use Hey Rides in this one as well. So, oh. But I am getting some mileage out of that Booyah stamp set from Lawn Fawn. I absolutely adore the costume pieces on this one. And I have used it a lot this past year for my Get Creeping videos, for my Halloween videos, just all of the things. It's a well-loved stamp set. I think I picked it up last year either right before Halloween or right after Halloween. And I am not sad with this one. It, it's gotten a lot of mileage. I have already colored and cut out my tractor and my wagon, and then I stamped the treats from Wickedly Perfect add-on set, and then I kind of doubled them up, made them a little bit longer so they would fit inside of that wagon, and, you know, because they do trunk or treat around here, so I thought it would be fun to do tractor or treat. So I colored all of my images with Uhuhu bullet nib markers. I can't really tell you the color combos because I really didn't write them down. I was just grabbing. I haven't been in a coloring mood lately and so I have a really hard time concentrating on like writing everything down. I was using my older ones so they're all the numbered varieties. So for my brown there it was like 98, 95 and then I think I brought in a 136 possibly for my brown. For I really liked the pink on my pig there so I think I wrote that one down somewhere it's like 158 I think and 160 something if you are interested I will look and find it for you just comment below always comment if you have questions I am more than willing to answer and I don't always hit on everything on my voiceovers so for this one I wanted to, because I had all of my critters and I wanted to put them on my costume I decided to go with a slimline card because I needed some more real estate at least with wise and so I die cut the biggest stitched slimline rectangle from Lawn Fawn from some white cardstock don't ask me which one. I want to say it was Nina Classic Crest Solar White Cardstock, but don't quote me on that one. I think it was the 110 pound. And then for, I wanted to put a pattern paper border. And so to do that with that largest slimline stitch stack, I ended up coming in with one of the smaller sets from the rectangle stitch stack. And then I'm going to piece them together for my background, which means I had to cut my card base a little bit bigger. I will try to go over the size of that one when I get there and I'm working on the card base. For my clouds, I am bringing in Lawn Fawn's stitched, not stitched, slimline cloud stencils. And then I'm coming in with was that carved pumpkin? So my inspiration for the sky was definitely candy corn. It's one of my favorites that I can't eat anymore. But, you know, I liked the coloring on it. So I decided to do candy corn clouds for this one. And I didn't splatter and I didn't mist it with water. I know, it's weird. And then, so I did use scattered straw for my clouds for the yellow. I think I used carved pumpkin for that orange. I'm bringing in the scattered straw to just add a little bit of yellow onto my hillsides there. Because I wanted to kind of reflect the clouds onto the base there and give them a little bit of character. Not a lot. Yeah, did I like it when it was done? I liked it in the finish. I really didn't like it when I was doing it. But, you know, I think that's just because what I want sometimes isn't what turns out. It's totally a me thing. So for this one, I'm going to piece together those two. So I ended up cutting two from that set. I want to say these are three and um, three quarters inches tall and then wide. I think they were like the four inch wide one. And so to do it, I could just ended up piecing it together. So I ended up cutting my card base at seven and a half. So it folded to three and three quarters of an inch by 
it wasn't nine, it was eight and three quarters to give an even border all the way around the outside. So I just kind of added a quarter inch onto whatever my cut slimline panel was, if that makes sense, if that helps you. So yes, it took a whole piece of paper to, well, I think they always take a whole piece of paper. But anyways, I just cut it the long way instead of the short, because usually you can just cut it what's use the eight and a half, but because I need to do it the other way, I had to cut it a little bit differently. Anyways, so I'm going to add in my hills, either both the brown one in the background and then the green one on the front. And then I will add in my tractor and my wagon. So I'm going to start piecing together all of my pieces here. Now, keep in mind that I knew that I wanted to put my sentiment up in that one corner, so that's kind of why when my hills were where they were at, I was like, okay, I'm good because I have a place for my sentiment. I don't always plan ahead on the sentiment. Not that I knew what I was putting on this one for a sentiment, but I kind of knew where my placement was going to be for my sentiment. So I'm going to peel all of my critters off of my brother's scan and cut sheet here and then work on piecing these together. So I cut, when I stamped in the little bat, oh, I love the bat pig, it's the best. Anyways, when I stamped the wings onto the pig, it got a little too close to that witch's room, which was fine. I was kind of worried I wasn't going to be able to cut any of it out, but it ended up connecting it on my brother's scan and cut, so I just ended up cutting it after the fact. I wasn't too worried about it, and you will see what I end up doing with the broom later, because it kind of has a funky little cut line in it, because I wanted the pig to look a lot better than the broom. I wasn't really worried about the broom. And then for my little costumes for my critters. Now, some of them are a little bit big and I was kind of like, eh, I should have like masked and moved things over and blah, 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 blah. But it kind of reminds me of when we were growing up and you had those big, I don't know if anyone remembers. I remember them when I was super little. I think they went away from them after like kindergarten, first grade, so mid eighties, they probably went away mid to late 80s I don't know but we had the like plastic masks like I remember I went one year as the cabbage patch doll and you have that like plastic suffocating mask that was oversized and so that was kind of what it reminded me of when I put the little Frankenstein hat or costume on the horse I don't know did anyone else remember those I remember being a Cabbage Patch doll. That's the only thing I can really remember being. I'm pretty sure my brother Tom went as Spider-Man that year. I'm sure there's a picture somewhere. I'm positive there's a picture somewhere. I don't think I have that picture. But I know it's out there. It exists. So I am adding my little Batman hat onto my little pig. A bat pig. It's just the best. I, I love it. The bat pig. Okay. Anyways back to where I'm adding. So I did stamp the pirate patch onto my cow before I ended up putting it together. Now I should have thought ahead and done a fifth image. So I ended up not, I couldn't find exactly what I wanted and I didn't want to redo any of the animals that I'd already stamped because I wanted them to be different. So I brought in that dream big stamp set for the unicorn and then I just kind of added in some lines for to make it look like it was sitting and I think I messed up when I colored the snout on this one so I might have to go back and color the snout like a dark gray because I colored it pink after the fact I don't know what I was thinking but it ends up looking like a cow I was kind of going for a painted horse and it ends up looking like a cow after I put the hat on it and I go in and paint the little snout pink. Yeah, don't ask what I was doing. I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, yeah, right there. Like, I think it looks like a cow now when I add the little hat. So I guess it could be a cow. I don't know. But then I feel like I should have put it over by the cow. <sighs> but it doesn't look like, you know, because I wanted Frank and his Frank and Bride. But that's um, whatever. Anyways, so I added those on there and adding all of my little critters. And I do decide to pop up the little goat just because he's in the middle and, you know, 
I, I needed a little bit of dimension on here. I didn't do a whole lot dimension-wise, but I did pop up my little goat. And so when I added that broom, I just cheated and cut it apart instead of cutting the hoof away on the goat, because then I would have had to like glue his other hoof back on to tuck it under, and I don't want to do that. So he's looks like he's holding the broom, but it's kind of cut and re-glued on kind of place. And I did the same thing with my little treat bags. So I had stamped out five of these, so each one gets their own little treat bag. So when they go trick or treating, they have someone some place to put in their treats. Granted, animals probably have like well, we put molasses with some of the feed because they like the sweet flavor. So I guess maybe they have molasses candy. I don't know. I did come in with the markers that I use for coloring to kind of make it look like those treat bags were like stamped already with them. So they kind of blended in a little bit better. So what is Get Creeping on Halloween? It is a hashtag driven uh, post once a month, I usually do it on the last day of the month. It will post on my YouTube channel at midnight. This one is going to go a little bit earlier because I plan on going live for Halloween. And so just separate it out. I will leave the details below. Anyone is invited to join in on the Get Creeping on Halloween hashtag, both here on YouTube and Instagram. I would love to creep on your creep too. So make sure to tag me in those posts. I used the little ghosts here from Tiny Halloween adding them in to drive that spooky, you know, add a little spook to my Halloween treat images here. So I'm going to add in all of those little ghosty ghosts and figure out a sentiment here. I thought about adding in the little signage. I just couldn't find a great place for it, and so I kind of left that out. So to build my sentiment, I did decide to end up stamping it directly onto my card base here. Sometimes I do banners, and I was kind of planning on doing a banner in, and I kind of just liked the look of it stamped right on there. So once I lay that out, I kind of decide where it's going to be. Of course, it's always going to catch my fingers before I actually get it to where I want it to be. So once I have that laid out again and lined up well, I will stamp that with some Versafine Onyx Black ink, and I should let it dry. <clears throat> So it looks good. I'm going to add it to my card base here with some glue. And as I press it down, I smudge the, yeah, I smudge it with that black ink on my fingers. And yeah, so I came in with my blending brush to try to cover them up a little bit. It really was, I mean, it covered a little bit, but not a lot. And I didn't want to ruin the rest of my card by trying to fix it that way. So I brought in the little bats from Tiny Halloween and selectively stamped them to cover up the smudges from my fingers. It's usually how those extra details end up on my cards. Covering. Oopsies. And then to finish it up, I am actually going to stamp and decorate the inside. I usually try to do this when I'm working on my cards because if I put the stuff away it's very unlikely that it's going to happen again. So just doing some quick masking there with the little bats so I can get them to move a little bit differently and then of course coming in with my sentiment. Hope your day is filled with fun and then I have an extra witch's hat already colored and cut out and I will add that on top. I thought about adding in the broom but then I decided to leave it out. And that is my completed Get Creeping on Halloween for October 2023. Trunk or treat? Just kidding. Tractor or treat? I hope you have an amazing day. Keep getting inky. Take care. Bye!